place like California, California, hey. Brandon God and Charles Davis ready for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game, and you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And here we go. The Super Bowl of Madden Ultimate Team is underway. Here's Jarvis Landry now on the return. And not a bad return here. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Peterson alone in the backfield. They go play action here on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. The tight end, Julius Thomas, the intended target. And that'll make it second and 10. Shift together here from the D-line. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he's dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. The catch deservedly so is going to get a lot of credit, but even more so because there's a defender there ready to make a play. Yeah, just flat out muscled on that one. Now a play fake here on first down. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Bree's going to throw. And his first look is incomplete. Kamar Aiken, the intended receiver. And it'll be second and 10. So they just got the football on an interception. They almost gave it right back the same way. And you know, when you look over to the bench after that type of a play, number one is pure relief. Didn't give it up. But it's not the coach you're worried about yelling at you. It's those guys on defense who just intercepted the pass who want to break over there. Hey, take care of the football, man. And now it's a third and four situation for the offense. From the gun on third down, Breeze. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And he's going to be taken down. Back across midfield, just across midfield at the 49. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. It's caught by Mike Evans. 17 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. And a really good game there on the post route. Partner, how do you know to go to that pass? When you're running the ball effectively and the safety likes to dive up there to try and help tackle, that's when you want to hit him over the top of the post in the area he vacates. Throwing now, looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. 
And as a defender, if you come up with two interceptions in a game, that's pretty rare in the NFL. You might see one guy a weekend do that. But to have two in the first quarter, that's something you don't see all that often. I have a feeling they'll think twice about throwing in his direction too often. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no-game play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No game for the offense, big play for the defense. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he's brought down. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to grade the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football, and they're on the move as they face a second down here. On play action, they'll throw. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Rob Gronkowski from 10 yards out. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And two interceptions already here in this first half. Well, that's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. It's a seven yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second down following the run. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Now Breeze. And complete right side to Cook. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, and hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. From midfield, here's Breeze. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And he finds Fitzgerald. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it a second down. go 
a second and seven. Breeze to throw on second down. To the right side to Aiken. And he's brought down. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The and for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked. 